And it was another gorgeous day out there today, but a big warm up as we head into the weekend. I'll have more on that and the rest of your forecast coming up. Well, Paul and Panda, the weather definitely cooperating. We've got winds the highest gusts up to 13 miles an hour, basically coming in out of the southwest uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Temperatures are definitely on the cool side. We've had below average temperatures all week long, and the humidity is high, up to 69%. So again, the weather definitely cooperating. There is a big warm up in the forecast starting this weekend. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but first off, temperatures today, 80 degrees for the high, the normal high, 81, so close to average. Overnight lows getting bit on the cool side uh, into the 50s and 60s. That will be the case again for tonight. But currently we are coming in anywhere from 83 in Van Nuys, Anaheim 81, 77 in Long Beach, Temecula 81, uh, low 90s in Palm Springs, 89 degrees in San Bernardino, upper 80s in Apple Valley. But from Oxnard, Santa Monica, temperatures are into the mid to lower 70s. The marine layer was in place this morning and then we saw clearing skies, but it's just offshore and it will be moving in again tonight through tomorrow morning. So just some patchy low clouds and fog can be expected. Ridge of high pressure bringing us the heat, but look what else is moving in. The remnants of Miriam was a hurricane now downgraded and just that moisture in those clouds that will be moving into our area. So you will notice some added humidity, so higher humidity levels and added clouds uh, that will make for very pretty sunsets over the next few days. There's a slight chance a little of that moisture and even some instability could be affecting our area by tomorrow night. We'll keep you posted on that, but just know uh, that besides that, it is going to be hot weather in the next few days. And the reason for that, a very warm, dry offshore flow will be developing uh, Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. That's when we will be dealing with some extreme heat. In fact, uh, Monday into Tuesday, even some record heat, a possibility. So we'll keep you posted on that. In the meantime, for this evening, we're looking at clouds and fog, west winds at 15 miles an hour. Uh, so it's going to be another gorgeous evening tomorrow morning. You will see some fog out there, uh, but the surf and the swells will be staying on the low side for now. West winds will be 10 to 15 knots, but there's a possibility of those gusts up to 20 knots. So uh, let's take a quick look at your extended forecast starting 90s at the coast, triple digits in the basin. So areas such as downtown LA, we're looking at 102 for the high. 106 in the warmest valley in the inland location. So again, possibility of record heat as we head into next week. Paul and Pat, back to you. That's right, Paul and Pat. In fact, take a look at these live pictures of our wonderful firefighters. And uh, I'm not seeing any flames right now. They're doing such a great job. Uh, you can see the smoke, however, from that brush fire that broke out. But uh, the good news, not only do we have these wonderful firefighters uh, doing a great job down there, but we also have some pretty decent weather as far as fire weather is concerned near Irvine Lake there in Orange County. Temperatures into the upper 70s. The highest wind gusts are only only up to around eight miles an hour. So uh, light winds and high humidity. A uh, hazy sunshine today. That offshore flow is building. The remnants from Miriam will be moving in uh, starting tomorrow. So we've got some added clouds, added humidity, and with that, some much warmer weather. Let's take a look at current temperatures across the Southland right now. Anywhere from 75 degrees downtown Riverside, Ontario, mid to upper 80s. But you head to Ox where temperatures are down into the upper 60s. I'll have more on that big weekend warm up coming up at 6.